Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Grizzly Digital Network as we're joined now by head women's soccer coach Chris Coons. Coach, I've got good news for you. <laughs> okay. This five-game stretch of the toughest five games of the season are now behind us. <sighs> yeah, yeah, they are. And, um, you know, I think it, it's taught us a lot about our team. It's taught us a lot about where we are in our, our program and our development. Um, and, you know, people use the word moral victory <laughs> and kind of throw it around. Mm -hmm. If there is a definition of moral victory, I'll be honest, it was today. Um, you know, the way that Mobile handled us last year, and they handled us. Um, compared to especially the first 10 minutes, we were in there in the whole time. Um, I don't know how to describe the fact that two people stood there and let a ball <laughs> on a corner kick hit their girl in the nose and go in. Or how to describe that our goalkeeper punched the ball in our own net. I mean, to lose to the number seven team in the country 2-0 on that, I think is, is probably the definition of a moral victory. Describe this game to me in segments because at times, the first 15 minutes, Grizzlies went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the seventh best team in the country. Yeah, I mean, y you know, what we have really discovered about ourselves is that we, we are capable of playing with number two, number seven, number 14. No, I mean, we, we're capable. The difference between capability and reaching your, your potential is not making the mental mistakes that, that we've made. And, and to be totally honest, you know, both of those goals were of our own making. And that's, that's disappointing. Um, but on the other hand, you know, we had opportunities where we had 1v1 shots with the goalkeeper. We had a header on a corner kick hit the bar. We just, we, we didn't take care of putting the ball in the net against good teams. And that's that's cost us at that level. Grizzlies come up short in this ball game, two to nothing here. And again, the, the process and the progress is there against Mobile. Uh, we haven't beat them yet this year, but we're getting close. We're getting better. We've talked about that with Embry Riddle. Where are we at right now? What's the next step for Coach? You know, I think that the next step is that we have games that by no means are we going to waltz in and win. And I think that's the next part of the lesson. You know, you you go against these teams, and yes, we've had a tough five game run. But now, because you're at somebody who, if you play well, you should have an opportunity to win, that's not enough. They're not going to yep. sit there and say, well, GGC's good enough. <laughs> and, and that really is the mentality that we're going to have to find. And, you know, to her credit, I think Courtney Hicks brought that mentality for us in the second half, um, gave us some great composure in the back, some great saves. And, you know, that's what we need more people to step up with. I think you saw that from Nicole Rodriguez today. I think you saw it from Anna when we dropped her into the midfield. She was a tireless work rate. I think that, you know, Yarger did a terrific job on the outside against their All-American who normally plays in the middle and they moved wide um, but to get her the service. But, you know, overall, I'm just I'm really proud of the kids. You know, we had a, a plan in place to take care of their midfield and to make their game difficult, and we did it. Um, we just have to clean up the mental mistakes. Quick turnaround for the Grizzlies. You're gonna, you guys are going to hit the road on Monday, head over to West Virginia Tech. Not necessarily what can you fix between now and then, but what are you looking to accomplish between now and then? Yeah, well, actually, we leave tomorrow. Okay. So we leave tomorrow at noon, uh, nice seven-and-a-half-hour, eight-hour <laughs> bus ride to Beckley, West Virginia. And, um, you know, what we really want to see is just can we take care of business. And and if if we have enough in the tanks to play a team like this and to play at the intensity level we had to play at, and then can we rebound and, and get the next one? Um, I think that is the biggest challenge, and, and if we're able to do it, then I think that will say a lot about our character. Well, Coach, safe travels for sure. Good luck on Monday on the road, okay? Appreciate it. Thank you. Grizzlies come up a little bit short in this contest. That will do it for us. This is the Grizzly Digital Network.